Look at these two slides. Which one do you think looks more attractive? The first slide or the second slide? Well, you guessed it right. The second one is clearly a winner. But why is that so? Because the text, pictures, everything is exactly the same. The reason is a strong color theme. So how do we give a professional color theme to our presentations? Well, let's find out. Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I'm the founder of Wise Up, And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a killer color theme for your presentations. We're going to talk about logo colors, how to pick color codes, and then create a color palette for your presentations. So without further delay, let's get started. So when you're preparing a presentation, the first thing you need to ask yourself is what does your presentation represent? Is it a company or a brand, a college or a conference? If that is the case, then you should use the colors in the logo of those brands and create a color theme around it. For example, if you work for Amazon, then your color theme could look like this. Or if you work for BCG, then your color scheme could look like this. Or if you are studying in college, for example, IIT Madras, then your color theme could look something like this. But if you're not representing any brand, any company, don't worry. Even after that, you can create a color theme for your presentation. And I'll show it to you very soon. Now, when you have a logo, the first thing you need to do is identify the color in that logo. Now, every color in this world has been assigned a unique color code called as the hex code. So once you know the hex code of your logo, then you can enter that in a color palette to generate exactly the same shade. For example, I'm going to take the logo of Simplify Work here. So to identify the color code in this logo, I'm going to go to this website, imagecolorpicker.com. Now I'm going to upload my image here. Can you see? I've uploaded the logo of Simplify Work here. Now if I want to identify what are the color codes in the logo, all I need to do is bring my cursor to this part. Can you see right now I've placed it over M and you, if you see there is a square tile that appears, right? Which shows that this is what the color I've selected. Now, if you scroll to the bottom, this is where you will see the unique color code, which in this case is 02094D. Now, similarly, if I place my cursor on W, if you see here, I'm able to identify what is this blue color, which in this case is 3D88. FF. And similarly, if I take my cursor onto this part, which is slightly dark blue somewhere in between. So if I click on this, then you will be able to get another color code, which is 2963CF. So in this way, now I know the color codes that are there in my logo. Similarly, you can do this for every logo that you identify. All you need to do is upload the image. And after that, you will be able to identify the color codes from there. Now, just in case this website doesn't work for you, all you need to do is go on Google and search get color code from image and many other websites will pop up which you can use. Now, once I know the color codes in the logo, the next thing is to generate a color palette using these colors. Ideally, in your color palette, you should have three to four colors. If you use more, then it becomes too colorful and your presentation will not look as professional. Now, to create a color palette, we will go to this website called coolers.co. On coolers.co, you should click on start the generator. Once you go here, you will see that a default palette will open up. Now, what we want to do is we want to utilize our logo colors and then create a color theme around it. So for that, what are we going to do? We're going to go back to this page. And what I will do is again, identify that color code that we had which is 02094D, 02094D. And there you go, the exact color comes here as well. Now I like this color and I don't want it to go anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this toggle lock button. This will make sure that this color is locked and it does not move. Now, if you see here, I also like this blue color. All right, so I'm going to click here and the color code appears 3E89FF. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to type 3E89FF and there you go. The light blue color also has now come here. Now what I'm going to do is now that I'm happy with these two colors, I'm going to press the space bar. 
when i press the space bar it is going to generate some colors which go well with these two colors from my logo that i have input now a lot of the times what will happen is that you will have to use your own discretion to understand which color you would like to go with which color goes well right so sometimes you'll have to do this process for a bit long in order to get the colors that you like okay so at the moment i'm looking for maybe a gray color that goes well with this and if you see this french gray color actually looks quite nice but it is slightly too dark for me so i'm going to click on this which is view shades and maybe i'm going to go for two shades lighter now if you see i really like this gray color it goes very well with these two blue colors i have included i maybe need one more color so let me see if i can find that now say for example you're not able to identify the color that you'd like another hack i'm going to share with you all you need to do is use this color code for example in this case i'm going to copy this color code which is 3e89ff i'm going to place it here and then i'm going to go for a lighter shade of the same color can you see now this blue color really works for me so if you see now i have created a color palette for myself with these four shades and it actually looks quite attractive now if you want to copy this color palette to your presentation there are two options one is to simply take a screenshot of this or otherwise what you can do is in at least in my windows laptop i have something which is called as the snipping tool so with the help of the snipping tool watch carefully i'm going to snip this part which covers all these four colors all right i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to go to a blank presentation and i am going to paste it here so now if you see all my four colors have come on the screen now how to use these colors say for example you have a shape okay you create a shape like this a rectangle shape and you want exactly this dark blue color to be transferred there so all you need to do is click on this box all right you click on this box the square that you want to color you go to shape fill you choose the eye dropper tool and then you place on this dark blue shade can you see there's a square that is appearing with the shade inside now the moment i click on this there you go the dark blue color gets transferred to show you once more similarly i'm going to again click on this shape go to shape fill go to eye dropper and place it on this blue color and if i click on here this blue color gets transferred then i'm going to click on the shape again go to eye dropper tool place it on the light blue color and the light blue color gets transferred and then i'm going to repeat this process for gray color as well now if you notice the moment i've done that all of these four colors are now showing in my color palette so these are coming as recent colors so i now don't need this palette anymore i can get rid of this and i will still have these four colors as part of my template so this is how you can use your brand colors to create a color theme around it now say for example you don't have a brand or a logo that you represent so in that case how to create a color theme well let's see that so for this purpose we are again going to go back to this website which is coolers.co now if you see below this option of start the generator which we had earlier gone to to create a color palette which had our logo colors there is an option called as explore trending palettes Now using this you can actually utilize existing color palettes for your presentations. They could be monochromatic for example if you see here the palette which only has green color shades or this palette which only has blue color shades or you can use multi color theme as well. For example something like this which has shades of both blue and red or something like this. Even using these kind of color palettes looks really professional and helps you stand out from your audience. If not colors.co then there are other websites like colorhunt.co or color.adobe.com through which you can explore these trending color palettes. So guys, use this technique to create attractive, modern yet professional presentations. Thank you so much and wish you all the best for your next presentation.